Alright, folks, this is Pitching Ace 88. We're back with a criminal case on Facebook, case number 24, Anatomy of a Murder, where we figured out that Cornelia Trent killed Wilfred Turnscrew to save the museum. Let's go to the additional investigation. I don't know about you, Ace, but I'm happy to close this case. It was really unsettling. I feel bad for James Savage. He was furious when he left the station. I owe him an apology for arresting him as a murderer. We should find him. And, well, do you mind stopping by the taxidermist shop? I want to talk to Mortimer Mutluck. I'm sure he'll advise me on something to go with my new clock. Wow. Captain Ace, I'm glad I found you. Ramirez, what's going on? Stanley Turnscrew has a problem. He came to see you, Captain Ace. He looks distressed. You should hurry up. Well, actually, I would have put him under arrest, actually. I had no idea. He... Captain Ace, I need your help. I think I did something really stupid. I broke a sculpture. I was visiting the museum and the sculpture was there, but I tripped and fell on it. When I got back on my feet, the sculpture was broken. I was trying to hide the pieces when the security came, and was so afraid they'd arrest me that I ran away. I can't even remember where I put the sculpture pieces in my panic. Please, I heard you're very talented when it comes to repairing stuff. Can you help me? Alright, don't worry. Captain Ace will find those pieces quickly if you're telling the truth. We'll go to the museum to find out. Well, we would. However, I don't think that that's going to have anything where we're going to need to get it uh, examined. Hello, Mr. Muttlug. I need your advice. I recently acquired a rare deer clock, and I'm looking for items to decorate my room along with it. It's been a while since I had such a request. How about another animal head to hang on your walls? I don't know. I don't want other heads on my walls. Oh, well, in this case, the only thing that would fit would be a deer clock would be this bear rug. I turned it into a rug. I'm sure it'd be perfect. A bear rug? Awesome! It'd make my room look like a castle room. Perfect, but its ears falling off. I was on the verge of sewing it back, but I lost my thimble. I can't sew without it. Could you find it? It should be somewhere in the shop. Interesting. Let's talk to Savage as well. You dare come back here, Captain? What do you want this time? Am I supposed to be a murderer again? Well, actually, we came all the way here to apologize. We were wrong about you. It's a good thing Captain Ace was there to prove your innocence. Apologize. That's easy for you to say. You're not the one who's been accused of murder. If you're willing to make amend, you should help me. Look, my husky is sick, and I doubt the sickness is natural. I'd say my dog ate something really bad. A smaller one could have died. I need to figure out what he ate. Could you search the abandoned garden while I take care of my dog? We pass by this place daily, and it's full of litters. Litterers. Litterers. Now that's one that I'm going to have to go to Grace with. I know. And I will take that. Thank you very much. Let's see what we can find. This one I'm actually pretty good at to, to finding anything. So, apple pie, lost kitten, bra, doll, knife, seagull, wheel, ten, draft beer, dog bowl. Dog dish, newspaper. There we go. Another excellent, excellent, excellently done. Yep, I bet it is too. It's empty, but I'm sure an ace like you will manage to find traces of what was in it. Ace. I love how they use the ace term, and that's actually my name. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, let's actually examine the taxidermy shop just because, uh, we're going to be getting plenty of XP, I believe. So, through getting some of this stuff. So, alright, so what do we got here? It's right here. I know it is, because it's the only thing that looks off in this place. So, anyway, snake, bone, flower, chick, doorknob, bracelet, key, pocket watch, apple, lizard, clock. So, once you get to me where you've uh, you, you've gone through all of this stuff, you you know you get pretty good at finding everything. You're right, Ace. We should look into the sewing basket. After all, it's a perfect place for a thimble. Couldn't agree with you more, man. Let's examine this, though. Okay, one of my favorites, of course. It's gonna take like 30 seconds, like always. Oh, nice! That was not 30 seconds, that was less than 10. 
Thanks to your skills, we now have a sample of whatever was in that dog dish. I'll bet Grace will be happy to help a dog. I heard she's eager to see the dog pageant. Let's give her this sample. Blue residue. Oh wow, that's a big addition to the inve additional investigation. Let's examine the sewing basket. Nice, nice. I like it. We found the thimble. Now Mortimer, Mortimer can fix this rug for me. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, let's go investigate this museum, actually. Because we still have one more star, so whatever we find in here, we could probably piece it back together. Which would be sweet. There's the broken statue. I know it's funny. It's funny going through all of these things um, uh, afterwards. Shoot, I'm talking too much. Square window, flag, bowling pin, bow tie, prison bars, broken sculpture, glasses, billiard balls over here. You know, at the end, like when you first do it, you know, I'm not able to find any of them. But by the time I get five stars, it's it's really really simple. Well done, Ace. Those marble chunks might belong to the sculpture Stanley broke up. Now, the real question is, do you think you can put it back together? Well, the real question is... Of course I can. That's not even a question. That's a stupid question. Of course I'm awesome. Okay, we need to get seven at least. Okay, wow, this is not going to be fun. Oh, this is, like a, this is like a David one. Actually, this one isn't that bad. I don't think. Crap. Um, nope. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. There we go. There we go. Oh, seven. Oh, good. I Just enough. Impressive. This sculpture is very ancient, but you still managed to build it from all those pieces. Even an expert wouldn't notice it was broken. Stanley's turn screw will be, will be relieved. Let's go tell him the good news. Yes, let's do it. But actually, first, I need to grab a couple more stars and wait three hours. I'll see you guys later. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Over and out. Alright, so let's finish off this blue residue. Ace, it's a good thing you brought me the sample from the dog dish to me. The blue residue are rhodocytes rat poison. Thank you. No smell, no taste. Even a dog can be fooled, especially when it's mixed with dog food, as was the sample you gave me. Someone deliberately put rat poison into dog food in pl a place where a lot of dogs go. That's barbaric. The dog who ate that substance you found must be really sick. You should give it this antidote quickly. Well, you're right. We have to go back to James Savage's house quickly and cure his dog. Um, I completely agree with you. Let's do him actually first. It's horrible, Captain Ace. My dog is agonizing. Please tell me you found something. Actually, someone put rat poison mixed with dog food in a dog dish we found in the junkyard garden. But it's going to be okay. We have the antidote to counter the poison. Rat poison? It's terrible. I have to give this antidote to my dog right now. A few days later at the police station. Hello, Captain Ace. I came to apologize. I was wrong about you. You saved my best friend. I should have been more careful. The weeks before the dog pageant are always a mess, you know. Weird stuff happens. Everyone suddenly seems on edge. The dog pageant. I don't see how this armless event could be related to the rat poison. But thank you, James. It's good to know your husky is better. I'm the one who should be thanking you again, Captain Ace. At least let me cook you lunch. The real fresh steaks I cook are always better than the crap you find in supermarkets, I guarantee. Sounds good to me, man. I'll take any of your free food. Captain Ace, I can't believe you repaired the statue. I've been told the museum withdrew the complaint. Of course, Captain Ace is the best. Finding the sculptured parts and restoring it was a piece of cake. You're amazing, Captain Ace. You're better than any of the characters of my brother's stories. Hey, I got an idea. Maybe I can write my own books now that my brother's dead. Uh, be a little careful there, buddy. Didn't work out for him very well. Alright, what's up, Mortimer? What are you going to tell me now? It's your thimble, Mr. Mutlog. I hope you'll be able to sew the ear back. I think you don't worry. Now that I have my thimble, it's a matter of minutes. You'll have your rug fixed in a short while. Perfect. Now this bare rug and my clock, I only need a fireplace, and then my room will look like a royal bedroom. 
How about you, Captain H? You sure you don't want to buy anything? You know, I made a set of clothes with pieces that couldn't be taxidermied, and I won't sell them. You can take them as a token of my gratitude. Nice. Ooh, padded jacket. A bit fancier than my current jacket. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up case number 24. Hope you guys stick around to go on to case number 25. This one, Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.